Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn IT. Today there will be a demo session for UI policy. If you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So let's see what is the agenda for today's session. So what all things we will be covering today in our session is like UI policy examples with demo. UI policy script execution, UI policy actions to perform activities, UI policy executions, UI policy triggers, and demo for UI policy in brief. So I will give you three, four example for executing UI policy in ServiceNow system. Okay, so let's move to our ServiceNow instance and explain you how we can use UI policy in the system. Okay, so let's move further. As you can see, we are on to the ServiceNow system in personal developer instance. Okay, so now let's try, uh, let's try to explain uh, what is UI policy and how we can create it and how configuration form looks and how we can create UI policy for certain examples. Okay, so let's move. So UI policies, what is UI policies? UI policies dynamically change the behavior of information on a form and control custom process flows for tasks. For example, you can use UI policies to make the number field on a form read only, make the short description field mandatory and hide other fields. So basic UI policies do not require any scripting. However, for more advanced options, we can use the run scripts option. I will show in later. So we can also use client script to perform all of these actions, but for faster load times, we are using UI policies whenever it is required. Okay, so now let's see how we can redirect to our UI policy. As you can see, there are multiple uh, options coming here. So we have to look for system UI, UI policies. Okay, so let's click here and see. And here we can see there are a lot of UI policies which are created out of the box in the system. So there are thousands of UI policies which is already created on various tables. So let's move and see how we can create UI policies. So we can see the new button is visible under UI policies list. So let's try to click on new and see what are all options are available. So we can see there are multiple options like uh, there is a table, short description, active flag, application and uh, we have multiple options here. So we will explain one by one what all these uh, fields are of. So this is a table field where we can select any table. And this is the application. So it is already selected as global. Okay. And the short description, we can define what UI policy does in short. Okay. And we can see there is a section when to apply any script. So let's talk about when to apply. So when to apply there is a condition so we can add the condition as per the table selected here okay and uh, again the UI policy applies to all form views otherwise UI policy is view is specific so this is set as global so we can apply the UI policy when a form is loaded and when the user value changes on the form so for on load it is already marked as checked and reverse if false if suppose uh, we are executing any UI policy conditions as false. So this uh, UI policy will be executing opposite like what it is configured. Okay, so what in inherit means the, it is the option for specifying whether the extended tables inherit this UI policy or not. Okay, so now let's move further and see what a script section contains. So in a script section, suppose we have to create a script for this uh, UI policy. So we have to simply select the run script option. So we can see 
we are having options run a script in ui type so we can select our ui type all mobile service portal desktop and we can write our script whenever the ui policy condition is returning true and whenever the condition is returning false we can define a script for that too as well okay so now what i will do is like i will try to create ui policy and one more thing before creating ui policy we have ui policy actions what those ui policy action does is like first of all we have to like uh, create for uh, setting field as mandatory or setting field as visible or setting field as read only so these all actions will be taken as part of ui policy actions okay so let's try to create a new ui policy okay so there is a example for creating ui policy suppose uh, we are making a close note field mandatory and we are hiding some fields and then making some fields read only as well so we will try to create a ui policy on incident table when incident state is resolved okay so let's try to select table here so yeah so make field action for this ui policy okay so i have already selected incident table and you can see the conditions field is enabled so we can select the condition here and we can select the state as so suppose state is resolved okay yeah so that's fine state is resolved and we will try to save this record so we can see that uh, we have already created a ui policy for incident table so now what i will do is like i will redirect to our incident form and see what what field can be hidden so let me try to open any new incident okay so let's uh, try to just uh, disable this client script which is enabled okay so let me just make a field in a ui policy in a, uh, making a client script inactive so now let's redirect back to our incident form so we can see all the alerts has been gone so now what i will do is like as soon as state is set to resolve i will set the service as mandatory and category as read only okay so what i will do is like i will click on ui policy actions with new button and you can see the table is already selected and ui policy name is already selected and we are having four actions in ui policy mandatory visible read only and clearing the field value okay so let's try and find suppose uh, on state to resolve i will make category as read only first so where is our category category yeah so what i will do is like i will make this field read only okay and submit it okay so now let's redirect to our ui policy which we have created as you can see we have already created our ui policy with the category field okay so now let's try to reload this form and check whether 
the category is going to read only or not so i will change state to resolved okay as soon as i have selected a state as resolved the category field is set to read only now what i will do is like on state as resolved i will do uh, sub service oh uh, sorry sub category as mandatory and service hidden so let me try to create another action for sub category i will set sub category as mandatory sub category as mandatory true okay sub category will be mandatory and service will be hidden so let me try to create ui policy action for same i will hide service set visible false so i will hide it now you, we will see how this ui policy will be executing so there are three actions which is added right now so let's see how it execute now you can see where we have category editable sub category non mandatory and service is visible so now as soon as i will click on resolve so you can see the category is set as read only and sub category is set as mandatory and service field has been hidden from from the form okay so same way we can create like uh, we can clear the value for certain fields suppose i will try to clear the value for description field so i will create one more ui policy action here and see how it executes i will select the description here so this is the description field and i will do the clear value for this description field okay so now let's try to execute our ui policy on incident form again okay so now let's try to set as resolved so you can see description field it is empty now we have cleared the value for this field okay so we we have seen how our ui policy actions has been executed based on certain conditions okay so we have options for run script as well so we will see how we can use run script okay so suppose uh, we are having a state is resolved and we will try to execute our script as well so what i will do is like e form dot set value so we are having a field short description so we will set to condition okay same script will just copy and paste here and i will just change the text as false condition so i will try to save this ui policy record again now let's move again back to our incident form and see what happened here see the ui policy is executed on load as well so you can see our state is new in true condition but state is new so false condition has been executed so let me try to click on resolve 
so our all actions get performed so this is a true condition on short description it is populated okay so now this way we have used ui policy in vast with examples so this is interesting feature because uh, so as to increase some interactive for certain forms so ui policy is very good to use instead of client script whenever it is required okay so this is all about ui policy please provide your comment if you have any question doubt or queries related to this session for more information please visit description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it